Hi there and welcome to January's solar update. In this video I'm going to take you through how much my solar panels generated for the month and I'm going to take you through how much uh, power I used charging my EVs via the Hypervolt EV charger as well as looking at how much the Eddy used for heating my hot water and then I'll take you through my full kind of costings and bills for gas and electric and export of electric uh, for the month. But before we get into the stats, let's just remind ourselves of my solar panel system. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels, uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and four on the east, and a solar edge four kilowatt inverter. So that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the three kilowatt AC inverter and the eight kilowatt Gen 1 Give Energy battery. And then of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Herb, and the Hypervolt EV charger. So here we are then, January 2025, uh, 185.42 kilowatt hours. Um, some not too bad days in there really by the looks of it. Obviously the scale changes due to your kind of minimums and maximums. Um, best day, it looks like the 30th of Jan. That was 15 kilowatt hours. Uh, but there were several others around the 13, 12, 13 in there as well. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, kind of 10 good days really at 31. So not too bad. Obviously, there was a bit of a dip in the middle of the month, which didn't look too good at all. Although I think the worst day of the month was the first New Year's Day with 480 watt hours. Although there were some really low ones, look, 500,000, 1.61 there as well in the middle of the month. So not an amazing month. Let's have a look how it compares to the previous years. Right, so a new year, more colours. So we've got green for this year, 2025, and we're still holding all my old colours in here as well. Um, so it looks like we've got a few more years to go in this graph from Solar Edge before we kind of run out of colours or years. Um, so yeah, so we're in the green. Uh, it wasn't as good. It's, <laughs> it's the worst January I've had, which seems to be a recurring theme, although December was slightly up on the, on the previous year. So... Yeah, so my first year was 243 in 2023, and then 227 in January 2024, and then January 25, as you know, 185. So yeah, not great, to be honest. Um, and last year's February was not as good as 2023's either. Um, but we are on the way up now, as you'll all be glad to know. You can tell already that the days are getting longer. Um, and the evenings seem uh, lighter already after four o'clock. Um, so that's a good thing. So we are definitely on the way up and I'm looking forward to February. So this is the My Energy uh, online dashboard. So we're just looking at the Eddy, the uh, hot water heater for me for the month. As you can see, that all the data is there this month. I had a few blips in the last couple of month, months without data being there. Um, yeah, it's all fairly standard, really. The big spikes, the wider spikes are overnight heating of the hot water with the smaller um, spikes later on in the day, which would have been from solar um, or the odd boost when the car is on cheap rate at 7p a kilowatt hour. I might have boosted it then, but mainly it's uh, been at night time. I've been trying to stop the kind of charging during the day. Uh, although sometimes I do forget, although I should probably set that up on some sort of home assistant kind of schedule, really. So it turns off during the day once it's kind of uh, done its overnight heating of the hot water. So for the month for the Eddy, 177.5 kilowatt hours to heat the water. So we're in the Hypervolt EV charger dashboard uh, online, showing me the last six months of how much I've used. So January, we used 505 kilowatt hours, went into the cars. Slightly down on last month when we used 526. So a little bit less uh, for some reason. Obviously, the odd trip or two less in January. 
So as I said, 505 kilowatt hours from the hypervolt at 7p a kilowatt hour equals 35 pounds and 35 pence. Funnily enough, 35.35 uh, for the month spent on the EVs at home charging. And that means, well, we'll look at the mileage first, actually. So the i3 did uh, 1,120 miles. The iX3 did 552, which equals 1,672 miles for both cars for the month which equaled, obviously I've said it already, 35 pounds, 35 pence. And that works out to be on average 2.1 pence a mile. And we did 3.3 miles on average per kilowatt hour. Right, so we're in the Octopus Energy dashboard. And for January, we imported 1,089 kilowatt hours. That sounds like a lot, uh, which equated to 80 pounds and 45 pence not including the standing charge. Um, basically in green is the off-peak rate of 7p and the pink uh, color really is the peak rate. So you can see a peak rate there on the 8th. That was the saving session uh, evening when we used a bit of electricity after the battery ran out. Uh, and then there's been odd little touches of sort of peak rate electric as well. Uh, during the month. So on to export. So for the month, £17.91 was exported at 15p. That equated to 119.43 kilowatt hours. So as you can see there, some days we didn't export anything. Um, it kind of really does mirror what was coming in because I try and just export as much as possible. Uh, whatever comes in should really go out from the panels. Right, so now onto the gas, not including the standing charge, 150 pounds and 91 pence. What was that? 2,410 kilowatt hours. Uh, so yeah, yeah, some days were colder than others. The heating had to power on a bit more. Now it's fairly um, standard through the last kind of week or five days of January there, about 60 a day. Uh, so that's not too bad, actually. When I did look at it compared to last year, we actually spent about £20 less this January than we did last January on heating. Um, so that's got to be a good thing. Right, then the month of January 2025, grid import, 1,068 kilowatt hours. At the cheap rate of 7p a kilowatt hour equals £74.80. 20.81 kilowatt hours at peak rate which is now for us at 27.1 pence a kilowatt hour, equal £5.64 for the month. Uh, export 119 kilowatt hours at 15p, equal £17.91. And um, we had one saving session that I bothered to be uh, included in, and that was the 8th of January. And we basically made at £1.34 that day. For gas for the whole month, we used 2,410 kilowatt hours at 6.26 pence per kilowatt hour, equal to 150 pounds and 91 pence. I've still been keeping my eye on the gas tracker for the east of England. Um, at the latest pricing, uh, the average price for January was 6.27 pence, so very, very similar to 6.26. Uh, it did go cheaper for about sort of seven to ten days in January in the east of England, but now at the moment, at the sort of end of Jan, beginning of Feb, it's now above um, what the flexible rate is. So standing charges, gas at the moment for me is 29.38 pence a day. So times 31 days is nine pounds and 11 for the month. Electric is 48.79 pence a day uh, times 31 days, and that equals 15 pounds and 13 pence. So overall then, the gas, £150.91 plus a standing charge of £9.11 uh, means we spent £160 on gas in January. And for the electric, we spent £80.45 uh, from the grid uh, plus the £15 standing charge uh, minus the £17.91 for the export and then minus that little bit for saving session £1.34. So in total for the electric, £76.33. Obviously that includes running the cars, 1,500 miles in the cars, and uh, also heating the hot water, etc. So in total for the month over the gas and the electric, £236. 
And that's it from me for the month of January. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And above all, leave your comments down below as I like to read and see how you got on uh, during the month with your solar generation.